Hi hey everyone. For an arithmetic sequence a sub n and a, G, a metric sequence b sub n, our first terms both equal 4 and our um, 11th terms of both sequences are equal to each other, we're going to compare the six terms, the six terms like that. So basically let's let D and R be our common difference and common ratio respectively. So let's look at these uh, 11's first. We have A sub 11, that's going to equal 4 plus 11 minus 1 times D. This equals 4 plus 10 D. All right, and then uh, B sub 11 equals 4 R using this formula here uh, to the power of 11 minus 1 and that equals 4 R to the power of 10. Now the reason I chose these is because they equal each other so basically what we're going to do is set them equal to each other and solve for D. So we have 4 plus 10 D equals 4 times R to the power of 10. So basically we're going to have um, subtract the 4 so we're going to have uh, 4R to the power of 10 minus 4 and then divide by 10 and this equals D. Of course we can simplify this by dividing each term by 2. Right so that would give me uh, 2 times r to the power of 10 minus 1 divided by 5 if I factor out that. So that is your d. Now we're going to look at uh, our uh, sixth term and uh, compare these. So basically our d, let me write this again, was, um, let's see, 2 times r to the power of 10 minus 1 all divided by 5. All right. So basically, if we look at a sub 6, um, that one is arithmetic, so that's going to be 4 plus 5D. So that's going to equal 4 plus 5, and then we multiply it by D, substitute this D in. And that's going to give you 2 times R to the power of 10 minus 1, divide it by 5. All right, and what happens is uh, the the, not those, but the fives cancel. So basically this two should still be there. Uh, this is going to equal um, 4 plus 2 times r to the power of 10 minus 1. Now uh, simplifying this, this is going to give me, uh, if I distribute that 2, we're going to get 2 times r to the power of 10 plus 2. Or uh, we can factor out a 2 and write this as 2 times r to the power of 10 plus 1. All right. Now let's look at b to the uh, b sub 6. That's 4 uh, times r to the power of 5 using this formula again. So now comparing them, what we're going to do is see if uh, which one's bigger, which one's smaller, which one's bigger. So I'm going to take uh, a sub 6 minus B sub 6. Now if this is positive, that means uh, our sequence, our arithmetic sequence is bigger. If it's negative, it means our geometric series uh, sequence is uh, bigger. So this is going to be 2 times R to the power of 10 plus 1 minus 4R to the power of 5. I can simplify this and write this as 2 times r to the power of 10 plus 1 minus 2 r to the power of 5. All right, now I'm going to try to squeeze this in here. So this is going to equal uh, 2. Um, if you simplify this part, this is going to be 2 times r to the power of 5 minus 1 squared. Now this is going to be greater than or equal to zero. Since this is positive that means our arithmetic sequence, our A, is bigger. That means 
a sub 6 is greater than or equal to b sub 6. If it was less than or equal to 0, then it would have been reversed. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.